Sports is proud to present today's matchup. Broadcasting live from Metro Stadium. Playing on their home turf, we have the home team. They'll be matching up against the away team. I'm Dan Stevens. I'll be calling the game. And as always, Peter O'Keefe will deliver the color. Let's have a look at each team's featured performance. Yep, one great one on offense, another one on defense. Looks like this team will be breaking the game open on both sides of the ball. But the other team is also loaded with talent. Dan, I like these two guys. They're bound to be at the top of everyone's must-have list. Between the two of them, the offense and defense should both hold their own just fine. Thank you for that, Peter. Now let's go down to the coin toss. This should be fun. We ready for you. Gentlemen, please make your call. We pick tails. It is heads. We want the ball. The home team have won the toss and select to receive. Brown sends it away to begin the game. James fields it way back at the nine. Breaks the tackle, but finally dropped at the 44. Damon James took the starch out of a powerful kick by running it back for some serious yardage. The home team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their 44-yard line. Let's go for the first play. I'm going to be all day, baby. Thigpen makes the catch on the right sideline, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Yancey Thigpen had nobody on him, and when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second and two from the away to 48 level. Number 14 throws a bullet to the flat, and it's caught at the 50, tackled at the 42. Billy Sims made the grab back there and then tacked on a few more. Nice play. That was exactly what the offense wanted. Good job not to even let it get to third down. He was still short of the yardage marker when he received that ball, but his legs and determination got him the first. First down with the tight end right. Moore catches the hard throw, and he picks up nine. Herman Moore had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. Hey. Second and one. up the first down. all incomplete Herman Moore broke and the ball was almost there just a couple inches short or that would have been a completion potential for a quick first down but no they cannot hook up the pass you can take a shot in that situation and it's really not going to hurt you that's a good call that'll bring up second down second down two receivers to the left Rip, rip, rip. 
Number 14 just rifles this one. And it's complete at the 24. And he stopped right there. Mike Carroll read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. a play on this one and forces the incompletion fourth down coming up Jeffrey Goodwin knocked that pass down and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field Barber boots it from 46 yards out and they take the lead. Lance Barber sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Barber kicks it away. Kelly fields it at the 11. Dragged down at the 29. Leroy Kelly got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The away team bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 29-yard line. Kelly takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Number 57 takes him down back at the 26. Number 57 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. It's intercepted. the 28. Number 57 times his leap perfectly to swipe away that pass for the interception. Oh, beautiful job. I swear, he is so high, only dogs can hear him. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The home team are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. Number 14 zips it to the left sideline, and the completion is good for six. Number 14 demonstrated his arm strength back there with a solid cross-field pass. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and four. Down. Six. Right on. Aye, aye, aye. Sims gains eight yards, and that will bring up first down. Billy Sims sticks to his blockers like a kick-me sign as he runs the football. Well, yeah, that's a pretty vivid description, but I'll tell you, it works. And the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your blockers, Dan. They clear a path, you use the path. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Merrill 
Hodge showed why he's such a valuable guy to have downfield. He makes the catch, but then cuts loose for plenty more. You can't coach that. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. First down, goal to go. Ground or air threat here. Let's see what they do, Dan. Sims will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Billy Sims got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Second and goal from the away to one yard. When you come back, all you will see is me. Sims gets the call again and gets in for the score. Billy Sims goes over the defense on this run. Watch this. He took it right to the tackler and took him down for the big yardage. Great job. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 19 yards and one touchdown. point after and it's good Barber boots it away. Kelly deals the kickoff at the nine. Dragged down at the 28. Leroy Kelly tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The away team, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 28-yard line. Kelly carries this one off to the right and picks up a couple. Second and eight, ball at the 30 yard line. Staubach throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. Touchdown! Jeffrey Goodwin makes what has to be the play of the week, Dan. You know we're showing this one again. Oh, fantastic job picking off the quarterback. Then he sees his route and powers upfield to the end zone for six. You can't coach that. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. Here's the extra point, and it's good. Field. 
Kelly catches it at the 12. Stopped at the 34. Leroy Kelly took the pint-sized kick and ran it back for a gallon-sized return. The away team were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 34-yard line. Kelly gains 10 yards on the play, and that brings up second down. Leroy Kelly played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, one yard to go. off his left guard and picks up the first down. First and ten. Ball at the 46 yard line. Kelly carries it for a third time in a row and gains about three yards. Second and six from the away to 49 yard line. Starbuck lets it go here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 21 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, tight end to the left. Sandoval gets the sack way back at the 42. It'll be fourth down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The home team in command of this one, 17 to nothing. Guy gets ready to punt it away. Richardson is deep to receive. the ball and punts it away. Richardson fields the punt at the 22. Hammered down at the 28. Alvin Richardson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team are really in command and have yet another shot to score. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 28-yard line. Moore grabs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. Herman Moore is all by himself and he'll take advantage of it easy catch a well-designed play there peter and they will move the chains and let me tell you dan hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense first down two wide outs on the field Manly tackles him for a short loss. 
Dexter Manley would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. They managed to hold them behind the line of scrimmage, but they have another shot at it coming up. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. them even farther away from the marker. It'll be fourth down. Victor Jones is not going to let them get back to the line here. Look how he just rolls into the backfield and just lays out the ball carrier. He's quick and he knows how to hurt a guy. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Deep to receive. Ryan Pago made contact on that one when he shouldn't have. That drew the penalty for encroachment. Fourth down, oh. and the punting unit is on the field. Takes the snap and punts it away. Kelly holds it in at the 11. Stop at the 16. Leroy Kelly didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The away team are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 16-yard line. Kelly picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Second down, three wideouts in the game. The 15. Ryan Brown dismantled that play by bringing down the quarterback for a loss of yardage. He gets the assist, and he now has one half of a sack for the game. Simpson catches this one, and he's looking for room. Eventually tackled at the 31. Mike Simpson makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. He caught it short of the marker, but found a way to move the ball into first down territory. That's a huge play on third down. Otherwise, they'd have to kick it. First and 10 from the OA team, 31 yards. Staubach fires this one over the middle, and this one is incomplete. Mackenzie Frazell ran a short pattern on that last play, but couldn't make the catch incomplete. The incompletions keep piling up, and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, second nothing. Down. Second down from the eye. up losing five on the play and that brings up third down Greg Lloyd showed great speed and pursuit and made the stop for a big loss the offense will have a long way to go after this play that's his second tackle so far <laughs> 
Staubach throws this on a rope and the con. However, it's short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. Mackenzie Frazell ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. Not enough there, and that will bring up fourth down. Yeah, didn't get the look they wanted, and they ended up short. Guy lines up for the punt. Guy takes the long snap and punts it away. Richardson fields the punt at the 32. Tackled at the 39. Alvin Richardson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team come out on the field and are looking to extend their lead before the break. They'll start at their 39-yard line. Number 14 fires this one over the middle, and the completion is good for six. Number 14 made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Sims dodges this one way out right and shrugs off a tackle for the first. continues to run. Rich Killian targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, one man back. James catches it over the middle and that will be good for a gain of eight. The home team take their first time out. Tony Green brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going for it. the markers and convert the fourth down. Number 14 throws a bullet. The home team will take a timeout. That's their second. Number 14 makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 93 yards and no interceptions. First down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Catches it in the flat and is at the five. Runs out and that will stop the clock at 25. It'll be first and goal. Billy Sims enhances this catch with a little move. Right there. I love to watch him work. He did a good job getting his hands around the football and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. First down, the clock is stopped at 25. Down. 
Dominant pass, dominant run, a lot of firepower on the field here. Sacks him, and the clock continues to run. Killian makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Rich Killian came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Barber is back to attempt a field goal from the four yard line. Archuleta will hold the kick. Barber with a 21 yarder and he knocks it through the upright. Lance Barber knocked in an easy short one for three points. You can tell he didn't doubt for a second that he made that. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Barber kicks it off. Kelly fields it way back at the nine. Stop at the 31. Leroy Kelly got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The away team take the field with the clock at four. carry on first down and will lose about a yard here and that'll do it for the first half of this one the home team in command of this one 20 to nothing well dan what do you say you ready to dive into the 2k sports halftime show now we'll look at our first half by the numbers and i'll tell you first downs have really been the story here the home team are winning because of it Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. After driving 27 yards on seven plays, Barber sets up for a long one here, and he's got plenty of them behind this one. It's through the uprights. A 47-yard field goal. The home team get the first points of the game and go up by three. The away team on defense, number 57, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. Still midway through the first quarter, the home team leading by three. Sims got the carry as they pounded him out on the ground, and he made the most of it. They're now up by 10. The away team end of the first quarter. Goodwin would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off and then he had some clear sailing in front of him. A 72-yard play that set up touchdown for the home team. The away team down 17 to nothing. Number 14 would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Midway through the second, Simpson found a soft spot in the defense, and it worked to his advantage. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards, and they had to punt it away. Late into the second quarter, the home team leading by 17. Number 14 would find his target on this one, and that's where we'll have to leave this one. The home team are up big at the half, 20 to nothing. Excellent job, Dan. The away team will get the ball first here in the second half, and they are going to need a bunch of scores to get back into this one. Currently, they're down 20 to nothing. Now, let's get to the game. Our set for the kickoff. Barber boots the second half kickoff away. 
Kelly fields the second half kickoff at the 12. Brought down at the 28. Leroy Kelly got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The away team send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Kelly takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Richardson brings him down behind the line at the 26. Alvin Richardson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, 11 yards to go. Kelly grabs the rope right side and loses yards on that one. Number 52 showed great speed and pursuit and made the stop for a big loss. The offense will have a long way to go after this play. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Staubach throws this one right sideline, and this one is incomplete. Mike Simpson has this one in his hands, and then oh, drops it. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Guy lines up to punt after the three and out. Guy gets the ball and punts it away. Richardson takes it at the 41. Stop at the 44. Alvin Richardson got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The home team came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 44-yard line. Number 14 throws this on a rope, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Sean Baker looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second and 10 from 44 yards. Sims catches it left sideline and he's looking for room. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. John Offerdahl pushed his man off the field with a great defensive effort back there. They got a few yards, but not the first. Peter, they allow themselves to get backed up against the wall here. Yeah, they gave up a bunch. Now let's see if they can hunker down and stop the bleeding. A pivotal third and short coming up. Sims carries it for the 12th time and heads out right, tackled at the 40. It will be first down. Billy Sims played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, tight end to the left. Second and eight. Number 14 throws this one over the middle, and it's tipped. 
incomplete. Tony Watson turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third and eight from the OA to 39 yard line. Wilkerson takes the pass out to the left, and he will be well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Ryan Pagel brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his second tackle so far. Ellis gets ready to punt it away. Beat to receive. Oh, yeah, punter. I'm coming. I'm blocking this. <laughs> Ellis gets the ball and kicks a short one. Kelly makes a fair catch at the 12. The away team offense takes the field and they have a way to go. They'll begin at their own 13-yard line. Kelly carries it past the scrimmage and will gain close to six. Gain of six yards on the play. Colbert with the tackle. Second and four. Ball at the 19 yard line. Five on the play, and that will bring up first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down and four wideouts in the game. We'll take this one off the toss and picks up a couple. Leroy Kelly had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. the handoff and the searches for a hole. Number 57 tackles him for a short loss. Number 57 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Nice job eliminating right. any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. It'll be fourth down. Brian Brown drops the quarterback way back there, and what was the quarterback doing way back there anyway? I've heard of deep pockets, but that's ridiculous. Well, not this time. The quarterback lost it all on that play. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. Guy lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Guy gets the snap and punts it away. Richardson fields the punt at the 44. Dragged down at the 46. Alvin Richardson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The home team start this one on the center logo at their 46-yard line. For six. Herman Moore faced single coverage there and was able to get by it for the reception. That's how you draw it up. Finally, they look to exploit that right side a little. Great pattern and nice finish on the catch. Way to keep the defense guessing. Second and four. 
from the away team, 48 level. Number 14, zips it to the left sideline and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Herman Moore made a nifty little run there and got the first. Nice job. First down, two wide outs on the field. Second and inches. Sim is number four on second down and gets well past the markers for a first. Gain of four yards on the play. First down, home team. second down and that'll do it for the third quarter the home team in command of this one 20 to nothing second down three wide outs in the game the call on second down and will gain close to six. Billy Sims lowered his shoulder on that play and created some extra yards. They move the ball and that'll bring up third down. Third and three. the heater left sideline and they convert on third down. Number 14 throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Sims has his number called on first down and runs into traffic, tackled at the 11. Two yards on the play. Smith credited with the tackle. Second and eight. Down! Six. Watch the counter! Watch the counter! Kick out the counter! Red, red. Sims makes the catch on the right sideline, and that's a game of seven on the play. Billy Sims snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. Ground or air threat here. Let's see what they do, Dan. Sims has his number called on third down and gets the touchdown. Well, this is a nice run, Dan. Gets all the yards he needs. Not a huge quantity of yardage, but definitely some quality yardage, Peter. Absolutely. Great play. That was... The visiting team are challenging the spot of the ball. Well, let's take a look and see if he actually gets the ball across the plane. Remember, all you need to do is have the tip of the ball cross it.
After review, the player did cross the plane. The visiting team will not be charged with a timeout. First down. Sims picks up about two, and they will move the chains. Both in goal. From the away to one yard. Watson throws him for a loss at the one. Tony Watson read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. third down. Tony Watson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be his fourth tackle and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well he's making him think twice before going his direction. Ground or air threat here. Let's see what they do Dan. Sims will get the carry on third down and he gets tackled short of the markers. That will bring up fourth and goal. Tony Watson came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Barber is back to attempt a field goal from four yard line. Watching Letta on the hold. Barber with a 21-yarder, and he knocks it through the uprights. Hardy Archuleta stayed cool and adjusted nicely to the high snap, setting it up perfectly for the field goal kick. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense at all. All right. Sorry. Barber kicks it away. Kelly deals the kickoff at the 8. Tackled at the 29. Leroy Kelly got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The away team have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 29-yard line. Monitor pulls it in right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Tolbert, Jackson, way back at the 39. Second down from the shotgun. McCarthy, Jackson, way back at the 32. Staubach goes it to the left sideline and caught. However, it's short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Mackenzie Frazell had to head out of bounds short of the first, and as we all know, it doesn't count if you keep running once you're out of bounds. They ring some out of the play, but not nearly enough. Not nearly enough is right, Dan. They can't even see the first down from that far back. Fourth and very long ahead. Fourth down, and they're going for it. James drops it, and they will turn it over. What a costly mistake. Damon James seemed to be all over that one, but watch how it gets away from him. 
Ah, oh, there's just no excuse for that. You're a receiver, buddy. You catch those. They don't convert on fourth down, Peter. Pretty much squelching any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. Yeah, they needed at least a field goal off that one. Let's just say a comeback is going to be very difficult. The home team take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at the 38-yard line. Offerdahl tackles him for a short loss. John Offerdahl targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Gets the call again and heads up. The away team take their first time out. Pick up a three on the play. Gillian credited with the tackle. Third down with two tight ends to the right. Takes this one way out left and heads wide left. Runs out and that will stop the clock at 151. First down. John Perry works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First and ten. The away team will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down, seven yards to go. Tony Watson came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Uh, definitely. Third down. The clock is stopped at 1.43. Takes it for his fifth carry and is brought down well short of the markers. The clock keeps winding down. Fourth down coming up. John Offerdahl made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. 21-yard line. Archuleta will hold the kick. Barber kicks from 38 yards out and puts it through. It's good. Lance Barber knocks through a good size kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still very pleased to pull it off. Four for four. Fantastic job of kicking the ball so far. You got to love kickers that are automatic like that. Barber boots it away. Kelly fields it way back at the seven. 
stop at the 27. Leroy Kelly got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The away team start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 55. Staubach fires this one over the middle and it's caught at the 34. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. It will be first down. Staubach spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, one man back. Second and ten. Ball at the 39-yard line. Staubach throws a bullet and it's tipped incomplete. Chad Couch makes a play on the ball here that's definitely worth another look. Yes, excellent anticipation on that incoming missile. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, the clock is stopped at 33. Frizel grabs the bullet and is at the 45. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Staubach zips it to the left sideline and it's caught at the 49. Gets out of bounds and he's past the markers for a first down at the 46. First down. Roger Staubach showed all the grace and poise of a cross-eyed stork wearing hip waders with that wrong foot pass, but he still connects. Peter, that's a nice first down for posterity, but it'll take a lot more than that to turn this game around with so little time left. Yeah, like divine intervention maybe. First down. First down, the clock is stopped at 14. Chases him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Not much action early on in the second half, so we'll pick it up early in the fourth quarter. Sims got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down, and he'd make it pay off. That set up an easy 22-yard field goal. The home team have opened it up and now lead by 23. Midway through the fourth, Staubach would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Late into the fourth quarter, the home team ahead by 23. Harry got the carry as they stayed on the ground on third down, and he'd make it pay off. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The home team win big, 26 to nothing. Okay, here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Billy Sims left no doubt as to why he's one of the greats. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.